hello students now in this video we are going to see the clausius musotti relation and this clausius musotti relation will give the relation between the electronic polarizability and dielectric constant so now we will derive this expression uh, between the polarizability and dielectric constant so for that purpose first we will write uh, the relation for polarizability okay so we know that p is equal to n into mu okay so polarization so p is equal to n into alpha e into e so here alpha e value we can find out in terms of the dielectric constant and here e can be written as the total internal field produced in the dielectric material instead of e we can write here e internal so let it be equation 1 and we know that e internal field in the previous video we have derived e plus p by 3 epsilon naught so let it be equation 2 and we already know the relation between p and e so which is nothing but p is equal to epsilon naught e into epsilon r minus 1 so finally we want the relation between alpha e and epsilon r because the dielectric electronic polarizability is nothing but alpha e dielectric constant is epsilon r so for that purpose we have taken this relation p equal to epsilon naught e into epsilon r minus 1. So from this one we can multiply this epsilon naught e into epsilon r minus epsilon naught e. So p is equal to epsilon naught into epsilon r we can write epsilon into e minus epsilon naught e because epsilon r is equal to epsilon by epsilon naught and epsilon equal to epsilon r into epsilon naught we can write so if you can take e as common we get epsilon minus epsilon naught so that implies e is equal to p by epsilon minus epsilon naught so let it be equation 3 now we substitute this equation 3 in equation 2 we will get the internal field value and we can do within some other color so that we can identify it easily so e internal is equal to what is e value we got e by epsilon minus epsilon naught plus p by 3 epsilon naught so hence e internal is equal to the lcm is 3 epsilon naught into epsilon minus epsilon naught then we can write p as common then here epsilon minus epsilon naught go on 3 epsilon naught plus epsilon minus epsilon naught so e internal is equal to p we can write epsilon plus 2 epsilon naught by 3 epsilon naught into epsilon minus epsilon naught this can also be written as p by 3 epsilon naught into epsilon plus 2 epsilon naught by epsilon minus epsilon naught now in this equation we can take epsilon naught common in the numerator and denominator we can write like this you can see epsilon naught i have taken common in the numerator and denominator and it get cancelled and p by 3 epsilon naught into epsilon by epsilon naught is nothing but epsilon r plus 2 by epsilon r minus one now let it be equation four now internal field we obtained in terms of epsilon r now that equation substitute in equation one therefore p is equal to n into alpha e into p by instead of internal field we can substitute this equation we will get like this so p p get cancelled and if we can take the cross multiplication 
3 epsilon naught by n alpha e is equal to epsilon r plus 2 by epsilon r minus 1. So, this is the relation between electronic polarizability and dielectric constant. This is called clashius musauti relation. I hope you understand this video. Thank you.